risks. And I was just thinking, I, to me, in 2010, the Republican infighting took a particularly dangerous tone because it wasn't just about infighting anymore. It was about taking our country back with the resurrection of the Tea Party. And it was yeah. very, very racial, whether any of them will admit it or not. Racial, absolutely. I, I will not sit here and allow you to say that. Um, the, the, the Tea Party I came in. And there were 63 people again. who came in in 2010 That's because fine. the government grew you, you too much because no 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 I will not because allow people to sit here and well, say I'm there's gonna, a racial aspect to it that is absolutely okay, okay. actually this, 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 absolutely so this is you absolutely valuable <laughs> and 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 I'm not going to let it die over the course of the commercial I want to come back and and ask the question about voters I think this this is relevant and I think the fact that you feel that much passion about it means we should talk about it mm -hmm. so when we come back we're going to ask that question and if I catch it, All right, we're back because there was a real tension here that I think is worth us spending a little time with. So, so I want to I want to pause and breathe because that's what Nerdland is good for. And Angel, I want you I want to allow you first to make your point sure. because what I heard you say was that the language of "take back our country" had a racialized overtone to it that was associated with the election of a black president. But what I felt like I heard Ron, what I felt like I heard you heard Angela say was Republicans are racist. So right. let me pause and allow you both to to say what you meant to say and and how you heard it. Sure. The Tea Party has some serious racial challenges. Um, for example, when they were, when the House of Representatives were vo voting on Obamacare, all of the Tea Party members that came to protest on the Hill spat on my future boss, who was the Congressional Black Caucus incoming chair. Um, John Lewis, who had already been beaten and bludgeoned, trying to ensure that we would all have voting rights and parity in this country, was called the N-word. So this isn't something that I made up. These are things that really happened and continue to happen. And I think that we see them in the way in which people continue to talk about the president to the president, challenging his citizenship and all of those things. Is that uh, reflective of all people? in the GOP? Absolutely not. But I think it absolutely is a problem and it has to be addressed. I can tell you it happens every time I'm on MSNBC in my Twitter feed um, that people are touting that they're Tea Party I, I'm curious, were you there that day? No, I was not I there was, that I was day. actually there that day. I was doing a stand-up for MSNBC. I was actually out talking with Tea Party people. I actually saw John Lewis walk out to go to the Capitol to vote. I did not hear the end. 